this is a trial that we conducted to uh, ask uh, the question whether the fluctuations that patients with Parkinson's disease experience when they are treated with oral levodopa uh, therapy can be improved, the on duration extended by using an infusion system. So this is a trial that had uh, tested the uh, infusion of levodopa carbidopa delivered via a subcutaneous uh, 24-hour pump system and compared it to optimized uh, dosage of uh, oral carbidopa. Uh, very complicated uh, trials, uh, double blind, double dummy design that was uh, essentially uh, designed uh, with the idea of testing it in a randomized withdrawal design. So people were first in an open label fashion optimized for the oral levodopa dose, then optimized in terms of the uh, subcutaneous infusion to sort of define the best dose. And then they were randomized into this double uh, dummy design, which essentially means that they were either on the infusion plus a placebo levodopa or uh, 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 essentially active levodopa and a placebo infusion. And this was a uh, three-week study, I'm sorry, three-month study, and uh, showed that there was indeed a, a difference uh, between the two arms uh, that was uh, uh, quite significant in terms of uh, on time. So at the end uh, of the trial, there was a one7 our difference in favor of uh, the infusion as it compares with uh, oral levodopa, op the optimized version of oral levodopa. The experience then uh, of the trial was followed by an open label uh, study. And this one is perhaps more reflective of uh, real world experience. Uh, in that situation, patients uh, have uh, gained uh, almost three hours of on time. This is about 2.8 hours of on time. In this case, of course, we're not subtracting the on time gain of uh, people who were on the optimized form of oral uh, immediate release carbidopa levodopa. So this is a very significant increase. That means that for individuals who are experiencing motor fluctuations, uh, associated with their medications, they could benefit uh, when they are considered for advanced therapies with an earlier use of something that's less invasive than deep brain stimulation for which otherwise uh, currently patients are considered. So this would be an important uh, treatment option for these patients once it becomes available.